The U.S. electric grid is a complex system, which is transforming at a rapid pace. Electricity is generated from a variety of sources, transmitted over long distances, and distributed in response to the user demand. National Laboratory researchers, working with the Department of Energy's Fuel Cell Technologies Office and Pacific Gas and Electric, are studying how to enhance the stability of the changing grid in the Bay Area. The driver for their research? Changing patterns of electricity consumption. The San Francisco Bay Area is one region experiencing widespread electric vehicle adoption, which could impact the stability of electricity distribution systems. A majority of drivers deplete their batteries during the day and plug in vehicles when they get home in the evening. As more and more people adopt electric vehicles, more cars will be plugged into the grid at the end of the day. Utilities already experience peak electricity demand in the evenings. Widespread vehicle charging at the same time can cause a grid overload. In such a case, the utilities may struggle to balance supply and demand, causing instability in the grid or even a blackout. To help ease overload and instability, hydrogen refueling stations can act as an energy carrier. Such stations use electricity to make hydrogen that can be stored for later. Fuel cell vehicles could plug into such stations to recharge. Those stations could also be used to regulate the grid by curtailing the load. These fueling stations could make hydrogen during off-peak hours, which would reduce demand at peak times. Hydrogen refueling stations located throughout the city can communicate and cohesively respond to the changing grid conditions. This means they can play a critical role in improving the grid stability while providing hydrogen as a fuel for clean transportation. Researchers at Idaho National Laboratory and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory are collaborating to model and validate such scenarios using hardware and real-time digital simulations. INL simulates the vehicle and transmission grid side of the equation using data from its electric vehicle infrastructure laboratory and standard power grid models. INREL simulates the distribution grid and the hydrogen refueling station components by using data from its hydrogen production and delivery research. The two labs have established connectivity between their digital real-time simulators 600 miles apart. This allows the labs to co-simulate actual electrolyzer hardware with complex power systems. By leveraging the geographically distributed assets, this collaboration is preparing the labs to address larger challenges of the future grid. This distinctive collaboration capitalizes on the strengths of individual national laboratory assets to create the laboratory of the future.